okay today today uh, we shall develop a re regression model from our three variable x1 and x2 and y and first we develop the re regression model and after developing we shall talk about what does mean by r square you can see from here r square what does mean by r square so that we shall develop today the meaning of r square that is uh, what is our question of today what is r square in the regression model that we shall talk about today okay and we have the three variables x1 x2 and y what I do I open all the variables at a time I'm just opening up open up as a group you see here as a group so these are my variables x1 x2 and y and the data from 2000 until 2007 and here I assume that y is a dependent variable and x1 and x2 are independent variables so now we can develop the regression model so I go to quick I go to estimate equation okay first I write the dependent variable which is y then I write the constant which is C then I have two independent variable such as x1 sorry x1 and x2 so this is my model in this model y is a dependent variable c is a constant and x1 and x2 are independent variables so we want to run this regression model so I go to OK here you can see OK so this is the result of the regression model and dependent variable y x1 x2 are independent variables and r squared is here so today we shall be talking about r square what does mean by r square r square means how much independent variables jointly can influence y which is called dependent variable in this particular model okay here r square means how much 71.70 percent here r square means 71.70 percent what is the meaning of this 71.70 percent the meaning of it the meaning of it uh, 71.70% variation in y I am telling again 71.70% variation in y can be explained by 
x1 and x2 jointly. I am telling again 71.70 percent of variation in y can be explained by x1 and x2 jointly and the rest how much and the rest how much rest is 100 percent minus 71.70 percent so what is the figure comes up so the figure is around I am doing it using my calculator 100 percent minus uh, minus 71.70 percent the figure becomes 28.3 percent okay so I am telling again 71.70 percent variation in y can be explained by x1 and x2 but the rest 28.3 percent variation in y can be explained by other independent variables which is not here that means the other independent variables means yeah that could be x3 x4 x5 x6 until xn okay in other way i am telling again i am telling it again 71.70 percent fluctuation in y can be explained by x1 and x2 jointly and the rest 28.3 percent fluctuation in y can be explained by other independent variables such as x3 x4 x5 x6 until x9 which are not included in this model or in other way I can say 71.7 percent fluctuation in y can be explained by x1 and x2 jointly and the rest 28.3 percent fluctuation in y can be explained by other variables or residuals here other variables and residual is the same meaning residual means those are independent variables those are not included in this model that is those are called residuals here our R square is more than 60 percent so we can say this model is nicely fitted this model is 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 a good fit because the value of R square is more than 60 percent so that is the guideline uh, so th that is the story of r square